My assistant says that you are interested in resuming med school. That's right. May I ask what prompted your desire to get back to your studies? I guess I couldn't stop thinking about my time here. Yeah, that's an extraordinary place. It's an unusual request. Yes, but I left under unusual circumstances. Oh. I left because of what happened to Nina. Hmm. Nina Fisher. You don't remember her? Maybe you remember Alexander Monroe? Oh, yes, Alexander Monroe. He actually just came back and gave a talk here. Oh, he's a, he's a really nice guy, really smart. Are you a friend of his? No. So you don't remember the accusations made against Al Monroe? I don't. He took a girl, Nina Fisher, the one you don't remember, back to his room where he had sex with her repeatedly and in front of his friends while she was too drunk to have any idea what was going on. She was covered in bruises the next day. Handprints, I guess you could say. Was it reported? Yes. Do you know who Nina spoke to? You. But you can't remember, so... You felt there wasn't sufficient evidence. You said it was too much of a he-said-she-said said situation. Well... You know, we get accusations like this all the time. One or two a week. I'm sorry I don't remember your friend, Nina, but I can assure you at that time that I looked into it thoroughly. His friends were all watching, laughing. It's so hard. But you know, also if she was drinking and, and maybe couldn't remember everything. So she shouldn't have been drunk. I'm not saying that. I, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to sound critical, Dean Walker. I just want to be clear. None of us want to admit when we've made ourselves vulnerable, when we've made a bad choice. And those choices, those mistakes can be so damaging and really regrettable. Regrettable? Yes, I mean, because what would you have me do? Ruin a young man's life every time we get an accusation like this? So you're happy to take the boy's word for it? I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Of course you do. Because innocent until proven guilty. No arguing with that. No. Thank you for your time. Is your friend okay? No. She's not. But Al Monroe is. You'll be glad to hear he's doing really well. He's getting married, <laughs> actually. So, you know, I guess he did the right thing. We have to give these boys the benefit of the doubt. That's why I know you won't mind that three hours ago, I picked your daughter, Amber, up from school and introduced her to the boys who live in that room now. What? She is really pretty, huh? She looks a lot older than she is. I don't believe you. I noticed they had a few bottles of vodka in the room, too, but I'm sure they'll take good care of your daughter. She seemed excited, actually. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have her phone. She'll be wanting that later. You're crazy. No. Tell me what room my daughter is in right now. I told you the same room Nina was in. I told you I don't remember that. Well, that's a shame. What are you doing? She is a young girl. I wonder if she looks so young to those guys. You better tell me what room she's in. Tell me what fucking room she's in. Now! You sociopath, tell me where she is! Please tell me. Is that what you want to hear? You're right. You're right. Look how easy it was. I guess you just had to think about it in the right way. <laughs> I guess it feels different when it's someone you love. Tell me where my daughter Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Relax. Dean Walker, do you really think I would do something like that? Luckily, I don't have as much faith in boys as you do. Amber is sitting in a diner, waiting for her favorite boy band to show up for a music video. It's the Castle Diner, if you want to call and check. You should probably call, actually, or she may never figure out they're not coming. She's kind of an idiot, huh? Gorgeous, though. Who needs brains? They never did a girl any good. Great to see you again, Dean Walker.